Hello, brothers and sisters of light and dark. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my page. My page is about common sense. I try to keep it down in the nitty gritty under 10 minutes. And if it goes over 10 minutes, it's something very, very important. And not important to liberals, libertars, people who believe in God, people like to smoke, people like to drink, people like ayahuasca, people like DMT. These videos are not pertaining to the masses of asses. It's a disclaimer. God damn it. Um, I don't like most humans because most humans are very biased and bigoted and gay and very emotional. And they don't ask questions, you know. But other than that, like Chowder, he likes to ask questions, okay. Crowder, okay. That's good to ask questions, okay. So you can see where other people's mindsets are at, okay. And how open-minded they are and how open-minded they're not, okay. But if you have any comments, questions, insults, or roast fest, you put it down below. Um... When it comes to traveling to the Ethiopia, right now Ethiopia is at war and going to the Gambia, okay? Um, the new rules for 2022, I don't know because I'm about to travel. I don't know which country, but I have options, okay? And so um, in 2021, I traveled to the Gambia. I had to go through London first and then through Dakar and then went to the Gambia. Um, what is very important to you for you to know is that in the Gambia, there was not a lot of beggars. They didn't, they didn't have no beggars in the Gambia. Also, it was it went smooth selling, but you're going to have to have $20 because they're trying to scam you. They want that money, and they, they got it right. They're doing it in a professional manner, but I don't know if it's legal. They should be doing that, asking for money, for security. No, no. I, you, you don't read about it, but when you get there, have some money when you arrive because they asked me the 20 hours and shit and i didn't think it was right they wasn't supposed to do that but they got some kind of system running in there and i think every poor country does this okay they're going to scam a lot of european people especially from america but if you're nigerian i don't know how that works i'm like how does a nigerian pay you know what i'm saying so other than that um they making a killing that's a lot of money but um other than that when you got the don't that's the only problem i had Okay, they give you a pre-screen. Okay, so when you arrive, they give you a swab, which I don't like. Okay, because it could be contaminated and you get sick. Well, everybody would have COVID if that was the case. But anyway, um, everybody who's traveling has to get a swab, a pre-test before you exit out of the plane area. Okay, it's a very barren place. There's not really a lot of things, a lot of stores and nothing like that there in the Gambia. Always make copies of everything. Okay. And um, when you basically have a problem, talk to the authorities nearby. Don't make a, a scene. Don't make a scene when you get there. All right. I have videos of me traveling there, but don't have, pull out your camera. Have a hidden camera. That's better because when I went to Ethiopia in 2012, okay, they told me to put that camera up. And I'm like, what the hell is your problem? What's what's going on? I was like, okay, I just put it up. I ain't want to fight or cause a scene. But when you bring in big items like TVs and a lot of phones and something like that, they might... They might get suspicious on that because they're a greedy country, a poor country. So they're going to be thinking like, OK, we're going to tax you. So just carry one or two phones. Sometimes I carry a phone on me as a backup phone, which they can't tax at all. But if you carry in like 10 and they looking in your bag, what's all you, they might think like that to take tax your ass. Any country that's basically trying to bribe you out of money, you should try to record them as soon as you can. OK, always try to. Uh, make double copies of all your important papers, put them in two different areas, have two phones, okay? Have a backup plan when you go out there because if your person is not there to pick you up at the airport, how are you going to communicate with that person? Before you leave the country of America or any European country, always have uh, two phones that can connect internet-wise so you can get in touch with individuals. You can use... Um, pretty much a, a, a magic jack, okay? You can use international services for Verizon. Verizon is the best to me, okay? Because I had T-Mobile and all the other ones, Sprint, Sprint and all the other ones. Verizon is the best so far. And so that's my recommendation for right now. This is the year 2022. Always do your thorough research on the location of where to get the COVID testing from, the PCR version. You do it one day before you leave. Everywhere you do it, okay? One day... One day prior before you leave, be sure there's no holiday that the plane can't leave okay? because I got stuck in the Ethiopian one day because they as you know, which is kind of weird. Okay? It was international. They, they keep running on holidays. I don't know how that works, but make sure that the day that you're leaving, everything's prepared and set up, you know, have a backup plan. You cannot go places without backups. OK, all right. And so have a go there. Try to purchase some things like. 
the most important things is they get a mobile device where you can actually use their 4G and do the research. QTEL and whatever country, you can look it up on recharge.com. If you go to recharge.com and you put in a fake number, yada, 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 it'll show you the number one place where the most popular. And sometimes when you enter the country, you'll see a notification on your phone that you can actually purchase time through your phone, but that's more expensive. So basically it's better to pay $100 for just one month a full-fledged service from Verizon, which they going to give me. They gave me. They, they, they have. They wanted to give me, but I wanted to do. I wanted to purchase a a, a me fee in their country, which is a better approach to doing things. Purchase a me fee, which is probably like fifty nine, sixty dollars. Purchase that me fee in their country, okay, and then connect it to your phone. That's a better option. So do it that way, okay. When you travel into another country, be prepared to have your documents. Okay, have copies of your documents. Bring some sort of entertainment when you get bored because if something happens and you get bit by a titsy fly or you get by a mosquito, you're done. Okay, Nine times out of ten, they're not going to look for your yellow card or malaria because basically I think that's irrelevant and it, they can I can I can pay them. Okay, I don't care if they catch you and they just pay them and say, hey, I don't believe in that. What's the fee? Okay, You know, you pay the fee and they'll let you go. But other than that, you don't need to be forced to take any vaccines. And if that ever happens... You don't need to travel because what about those individuals who believe in natural, holistic approaches? You know, just do what I ask you to do here. Do your due diligence to do your research. When you're traveling, don't go out there for some hoe that you don't know. Have a backup. Have some guy that you want to get in touch with. Okay, and he'll meet you at the airport. You have to find somebody from that country. Usually nine times out of ten if you go into a country, you can look on the Facebook and find somebody who's active, who's living in Kenya, and they'll probably possibly come to the airport just in case if she don't show up. Good idea. Have a backup plan. Do not go out to a country and you do not have a backup plan. You tell that person, I'm arriving here and you, we, we are going to meet there. And if she don't show up, I need you to pop up and help me out to get what I need. Okay, And he'll help you. You pay him. Boom. Okay. But um, the more what I'm saying here is that in um, the Ethiopia, OK, I basically came across some beggars and the Gambia. I didn't come across any beggars. OK, I was waiting for something to happen. That's how I am, because I feed off a of bad energy and then I get blessings. That's just how my magic works. When someone talks shit. Someone, someone else, two people, other people talk positive about me. Every time someone talks negative or say some shit about me, they don't know. I get that blessing. But it's very wise to be prepared. Always make sure you do your research before you get to that country. In most occasions, you don't have to. You can only stay for one month. Okay. All right. And one in most occasions, you're going to stay for one month. But you can stay more than that if you purchase a five year visa. Okay. You know, especially if you put down on your your forms. You know, because I get my visa expedited to me, okay, because I do the research and due diligence to get the, I send out my passport, they stamp it, they send it back, that usually costs around 300 to $400, you got it, you got it. that's the first step you must do before you travel to another country, get your visa, five-year approval, okay, because you're allowed to stay in there up to uh, so-called two years, that's what I say, okay, but other than at a time or something. But it depends on the country. They may only allow you to stay for only one month. You can see it on the U.S. Embassy website. You can also see, you can sign up for STEP program, which tells you if there's any dangers or something going on in that country. You have to sign up for all that stuff. You can't just go in there nonchalantly and then, okay, then you get in trouble. Okay, You get robbed. Okay, You've got to have an air about yourself like you're not afraid. Okay, right? Because usually when I see these weak people coming up to me, asking me for money, and they have scams, and th I'm already 10 steps ahead, okay? You can, your weapon, your best weapon is a screwdriver. Your best weapon is a, a goddamn pick fork or something. You can get something, you know, to defend yourself because most of them can't fight. They're not going to overrun you. They don't have weapons out there, okay? The only way they can rob you is if you basically are unskilled in fighting and you don't have, your eyes is kind of weak. You have weak eyes, People say, I got scary eyes, so they don't approach me. But I look for people, though. I look for people. I don't look for trouble, though. Other than that, that's all I really got to say about entering the Gambia and Ethiopia. I spoke a lot. If you want more information, contact me. You know how to get in touch with me, my man, Del Evans, you know, on Facebook. My you guys. Be safe. Peace.